Okay, this is a uh, our 45 corner tank, which we've actually separated uh, half of the fry, left half of the fry in this tank from JP. Um, these are probably the ones that we're not going to keep, except for this one. This one has nothing on it on its body, which I actually like. Has not a flower line on it. It's pretty cool. Um, and let's go into the fish room. Alright, and this is the fish room, and, and this oh, I'm in basketball clothes because that's what we do, we play basketball. This is where um, our, uh, oh by the way, this is the room where the magic happens. This is the room where the magic happens. This is where our, our epistogrammas and blue rams are. There's our blue rams, there's one epistogramma, there's a male epistogramma back there. And this is really the tank we just don't really care about anymore. It's just our dwarf cichlids, we just throw them in together. And over here, this is an amazing, awesome tank. Show them the whole tank. That's a cool tank. Uh, we redid it. There's some of JP's fries. They have a lot of potential. There's, if you can see, the one up there has a coat coming in. He's like an inch. And the other ones have a lot of color on them. It's, they're really colorful, full of red. And they, they eat nonstop, no joke. They won't stop eating. And here, uh, the, the blue dragon, Legacy, the blue dragon, have no idea if it's male or female. Um, it has its own tank by its side. Uh, it has its own tank now, 45 gallon. Um, it just got done being sick. And uh, wait for it to get in the light. It's, it's super colorful. But the thing about it is it eats nonstop, regardless if it's dying or not. It'll be on its deathbed, and it'll still eat nonstop. It has a little weird problem though. No matter what we do, how much we try, it has these weird scale problems where it just looks like scales are popping off of its body. It's really weird. But right next um, to the fin. Yeah. And we don't really at this point we've done so much to try to cure it that we don't really care if it lives or dies. We hope it lives, but at this point I really don't care because if it dies, it just creates more space for us. I mean I like it. It's our first flower horn but yeah, it's okay. And here's our blue ram tank. It's planted blue ram tank. The babies, they grow super slow. It's crazy. Uh, we're trying to get rid of them soon. Once they get a little bit bigger. And, uh, crikey, look at this beauty down here. This is our, this is our Midas cichlid, eh? And, uh, it's got quite a coke for a female. And that's my gay Steve, Steve Irwin impersonation I know it sucks but uh, this is just a Midas so it only has a 20 gallon to itself nothing special um, but it has a huge coke if you can see that for mm -hmm. like four inches is pretty big coke and yeah this is our only for sure female fish I hope that our blue dragon up there is a female but you guys keep telling me it's a male and then finally for vans and big dog here comes our masterpiece this is um, 75 gallon, has an under gravel filter, has the mechanical filter, and, um, and it has Iron Man in it. Iron Man just got put in there today. He's been battling ick for a week, and it's finally all done and good. He, he's a happy camper in his new tank. I hope this uh, satisfies Big Dog and Vans. Hope they're, I hope they're uh, happy I took their advice, and I'm just gonna try to pump them up for a while before we try any breeding projects. He looks like he loves his new tank. He's pretty happy and he's a beast. So we'll keep updating him and see what happens in the next couple of weeks and months. But he seems pretty hungry right now. We haven't fed him. But yeah, that's our fish tank room update. We've switched a couple things. We've got a couple fry in here. We have we have a uh, we have this new tank and I think it looks pretty sweet and it's literally in our closet we have a fish tank in our closet we've removed the doors and there's a fish tank in our closet so that's our fish room thanks